Hey guys, how's it going? Aquaballs, what is going down, dude? Sorry I had to start the channel a little bit late. Again, it's a weekend and I had to tinker with the internet. So if I get cut off down here in the, in the well, first floor, it's not a basement, it's the second floor of our building, but it, it's our building's on a hillside and so it doesn't... Long story short, if I get cut off, I'll try uh, to reconnect. If it's not connecting at a fast enough speed, then uh, we'll see what we can do. But um, yeah, let me know if the connection starts getting bad on you guys. How's everybody doing? Will Stout, hello. Loaves, fish, and fishes. Keith, Borderly, Aquaballs, what is up? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait as per normal for a couple more people to filter in here, but I have uh, just a couple little updates, and then the rest is really up to you guys. If you guys want to see something or talk about something, we can do that. Uh, Bob Kaler, how's it going? Bob. So, um, first of all, I wanted to go over while we're, while we're sitting here, since you guys are early to the party. Um, basically the December sales and events and promotions that we have, uh, going on kind of through the channel, not exactly through the channel, but kind of through the channel. Um, and I just realized, let me flip this around. Jay Blair, what's up? So Jay Blair, Jason and I just hung out, our wives and I, and he and I went to dinner with his son too. And we had a good old time. So that was cool. We, somebody I met through the channel and then we happened to be at the same uh at aquarium zen at the fish shop and uh you know just got to talking and became actual uh friends in real life so um you know i love it when people who watch the channel when i run into them and whatnot it's always awesome so he actually brought over what i'm gonna be working on in some of the new videos coming out soon um uh, I wanted to also tell you though, for the people who are early to watch the videos right now, while while you're fil while others filter in, it seems like we usually cap around 40 people watching that can chat. Just found out that doesn't include the people that uh, are watching on Xbox or things where they don't type at all. Like that doesn't factor into what I see. I can find out afterwards, but in any case, um, so the folks who can. Play along, I should say. And if you have questions, this will be the the uh, stream for you tonight. Otherwise, it'll be a short stream. But um, first of all, I wanted to tell you guys that I've teamed up with, uh, as you know, both Flip Aquatics and Aquatic Arts. So Aquatic Arts is the one that I've gone all in, gung-ho. I'm really excited about it. And basically... If you shop with them and use the code all caps secret shrimp all caps no spaces 15 it's in the description link below <clears throat> and that will get you 15% off everything in their store any you know pleco caves to fish food to fish to shrimp all that and uh They'll probably have some other sales going down, but Aquatic Arts is definitely my favorite website out of the, um, I don't know, big box website. Like, it's a step below that, and I really like that. Um, Jagador1, hello. Her Lucas Harrison, what's up? Blake's Aquatics, lots of good people coming in here. Hope you guys are all doing well on this uh, start to your weekend. Uh, but... I, uh, what I really wanted to talk about was at Aquatic Arts, yeah, and, uh, at Aquatic Arts, we'll be doing more giveaways than just that. So, if you've used the 15% off discount, that will enter you into a drawing where they will be giving away shipping from their place so that the fish aren't more stressed coming here first. They will be shipping out though a hundred or about two hundred dollar value uh, package of strip uh, blue dream starter shrimp. So Neo Caradina, uh, beautiful shrimp. Let's let's take a look at some of them while we're talking about them. 
um, they will ship out everything you need to start a colony. Katapa leaves and uh, food and all that kind of stuff. A net and the shrimp, of course. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I think that that's going to be like a, a fun little giveaway prize. Uh, we, oh, we've got another pregnant shrimp here, and she's a looker. Look at how solid blue she is. The way this tank was sorted, little a little tidbit for y'all. You take your LED light on your phone, and you surprise the shrimp in the middle of the night. And if they look solid blue in the middle of the night, when they're the lightest color, when they're usually translucent somewhat and they still look very blue, you probably have one heck of a good strain. Same with red shrimp or any other color. If they look that way from a dead sleep, and you shine a light on them, and it's that consistent, like that female is as good of a blue dream shrimp, that is the best blue dream shrimp you could probably ever get. The only thing to uh, quarrel on about her would be that her shoulders are not quite big enough, but that's probably just her age. She'll probably get bigger shoulder as she gets older. How long does it take to start breeding? Um, these guys start breeding at around... It's kind of different depending on each shrimp. I've seen them start breeding as early as three months or four months, but I have seen them also take as long as six or seven months to start breeding, and then it takes them about... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, we have a stowaway. I know how this happened. Um, and I need to get this yellow shrimp out while I'm looking at her. Or him. Him is worse than her in a shrimp tank. That is for sure. Four score and seven shrimps ago. All right, come on. Oh, whoa. All right. There we go. We got the yellow shrimp in the bag. So, these shrimps are... I need to get them out because one male in a group of females could give you a completely diluted group of shrimp. And that would just be a bummer. So, I just thought that I would do this. You know what? Instead of this tank, I changed my mind at the last minute. I'm actually going to put it in my back up shrimp tank that I've got going here that has a mix of shrimp and it's not a good tank for um, this this tank down here is not a good tank for any true lines or anything like that but it's uh, it spits out some really interesting weirdo mixes of shrimp which I kind of like so there's that and then also, the other thing that we wanted to get out of here was um, we wanted to get this guy who has all the rainbow colors in him. He needs to come out. But as I was saying before, as I do this, I will be talking about aquatic arts sales. So they've got the shrimp starter kit as part of the, the sale if you use the code secret shrimp 15 And that's great. Um... But what's even better is every time you use their codes uh, for my channel, like you mentioned my channel basically through the codes, they will be taking money that is made off of that transaction and they will be uh, creating a account. And I said I don't want... Uh, or, you know, they could have it, I could have it, however it would work. But I said, don't, let's not make money off of this account. Like, let's not worry about um, me being an affiliate link or whatever. Let's take that number and I'll put it towards more, uh, more, more presents for, for the holidays. And then every quarter will do the same. So we'll have a promo code for the channel for Aquatic Arts, and then we will have a, um, a giveaway, and the money that was used on the, the one-time code, that will be given away 
again. So right now we have, I believe, four $30 gift certificates that we're going to give away, but we'll up that to five gift certificates or 20. If you guys, depending on the amount you spend, we'll put 4% of that money back into gifts. So that's a really cool code to use. And if you use that, and you know that's a 15 percent discount right off the bat uh, besides being entered into this raffle and this raffle is limited to my channel only and to subscribers and so therefore it's actually not that big of a pool like there's maybe 30 people in this pool and we're giving away 500 dollars of prizes so I mean, if you haven't tried buying something from them and you need something anyways, go for it. The second thing that I wanted to say is that we also have uh, an ongoing uh, link with Flip Aquatics, Rob uh, Lipton over at, F at uh, Flip Aquatics, and uh, his, his discount code of 10% of, uh, off uh, orders is... Uh, uh, history with a capital H and then um, history with a capital H and then uh, 10 and that gets you 10% off uh, anything at his store and that one I believe can be used unlimited amounts of times uh, but I wanted to tell you tonight that I am working hard to actually get a better code to get maybe 15 or 20% off. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens or that we'll be doing a giveaway for the holidays as we are with aquatic arts. That's what he'll, he seemed more likely to be uh, able to do. Him and I are going to be collaborating on some stuff also. Uh, hi, Betsy. Let me look at the thing. Wow, yeah, Bob, you are on cue with the links. Thank you, buddy. Sorry, I uh, got uh, Will Stout. Hello, Fancy Tail Aquatics. Hello. How's everybody doing? Kitty Atkins. So people are rolling in. So real quickly again, without me interrupting myself by uh, picking guppies that have red spots on them. Side note. Uh, guppies with red spots or orange spots, it's most likely a dominant gene and it will show up and keep showing up and keep showing up. And I don't want it in this strain. I want purple and green and, uh, and blue and, oh, and fluorescent yellow in the tail. You gotta love this. It's not anywhere near as bright as in real life, but this thing looks like a highlighter marker on its tail and... The other one in here that I've decided I'm going to go for is this purple one here. It's got the leer tail, but it's a beautiful purple. Like a purple I haven't seen in guppies. This was the former king. Of course, they're not they're freaking out for food right now. You guys have been fed like five times today. Um, but this colony will be, um, will be split into two and will... Definitely up here, probably, after I get some Moscows going. I'll move them upstairs, get rid of the uh, oddball uh, back generations. Now that these generations are dialed in, I don't need the half wild endler, half uh, pet, you know, shop guppy type lines. So I'll be getting rid of them, giving them to pet store or selling them to pet stores, and then I will be taking. The Moscow Blue Guppies up here that are in this tank, which, by the way, I cleaned out. I had that flesh-eating bacteria that was in the tank. I literally had to bleach bomb the whole tank, and it was the saddest day I think I've had as a fish keeper, even worse than the Tatia Mosaica day. I'm going to say it on a live stream, and I have footage of it, but I decided I'm not going to air it. Um, this is that purple-tailed one, by the way. I don't. I wish I could show you the purple, but it's like a metallic purple leer tail that that he has, and then uh, it happens to have leopard spots on its back. So it's like the best of all the things I want in these in these guppies. Um, its its dorsal fin has 
metallic blue, yellow, and black leopard spot patterns. JH, what is up, my brother? How are you doing, man? Um, I was just showing off my uh, guppy strains that I've kind of... I've decided that there's two in it that are basically if I could reproduce them or some some facsimile of them closely this would be the strain we we've got the one that I'd been working on that is a cross between Lucas Brett's rainbow endlers these guys these will breed uh true already so these ones already breed true and that's what's in this tank and then there's a couple oddball morphs from this ge these generation last three generations that have been breeding true and i'm only putting the males that have uh color patterns i want now what i'm curious to see is if the yellow uh leer tail works out this neon yellow or if the purple can actually last this guy has both purple and yellow in his tail which looks white on my camera under the bright light but i assure you that oh there we go when i stand back maybe you can see it a little bit better that the colors are just out of this world i'll post some pictures on facebook of it um but yeah so these are the guppies the guppinators and uh i can get them to look like this all day uh there is a website set up if you guys have been watching my channel since the start, you know that I had this idea for an app where you loaded up your inventory of the fish you have, and then you have another bet, like another thing that is the fish you want, and it like would be a date mat, like a matching site. And so if somebody has cichlids that you want, and they want Corydoras, like it would say, hey, you've got a match. And then you could also search just to straight up buy. Well, somebody came up from Dan's Aquatics with something very similar, and that is that uh, the getgills.com allows you to upload the fish you have, and, or, or plants, or whatever it may be, uh, and then sell, buy and sell, kind of like a Craigslist, or uh, yeah, I guess kind of like a Craigslist and Aquabid mixed together, and... I will be having this line, which are my Japanese blue endler uh, bolts, as I call them. Uh, and then I'm going to try to get this line pure with the purple and just the purple and blue and then the leopard spots because I just think these are beautiful. And that's actually not a black spot. It's a deep, deep, deep emerald green that you see in the light or the sunlight if you get it. And I've just never bred purple stably into a guppy with the bright yellows also. And so I've never been able to do it. And I think mixing them with the wild endler halfway through is what really helped. Now this rainbow endler here is actually from the same clutch, but he got totally different genes. So that line is not stable yet. Um, I can sometimes get really out there throws and whereas this line down here these guys always come out now the way i wanted them so lucas has come out all sorts of different colors but they usually have the stripes or spots and they're yellow well now i've selected for those these all have paddle tails like spade shape and they all have blue metallic color in those uh tails and dorsal fins so um that's a line now that uh, I feel not. I don't feel right calling it Lucas's line anymore, and so I'll chat with him. But I think I'm gonna have to come up with a new name, like Rainbow, uh, or or like Electric Blue Tiger Endler, or something like that. You know, or Purple Tiger Endler, whatever it may be. Um, I gotta think of a name. So keep that in your guys' minds. Because, as I said before, all the links, and then I'll answer these questions I saw pop up. But So it's history with a capital H on flipaquatics.com. And then it is, uh, so history 10, no spaces or anything, just capital H, the rest lowercase, no spaces, history 10. That'll get you 10% off Flip Aquatic anytime, anywhere. 
and it will get you entered into the drawing uh, for the holiday gifts. So that's for the $200 value shrimp starter kit of Blue Dreams, Neo Caradinas, and that will also get you added in for various other starter uh stuff and some giveaways and the more of us that use it the more money we will uh have to give away so we can kind of all help each other out and all get a higher amount and i think i'm going to limit it so that you can only win once so that the most people possible get the most giveaways in gift cards and so forth but like i said off of every sale so if you buy 40 dollars worth of stuff um, you know, four bucks or whatever will be going back into the pot, um, towards gift cards. So if a bunch of people do that, it's great. So that's incentive for you guys to share that link to get both, uh, the 10% off flip aquatics and the 10% off aquatic arts. Now aquatic arts, as I said again, but I'm going to say it one more time and it's in the link. Because people always ask me private message-wise. Uh, it is secret shrimp, all caps, and then one zero for 10% off. You can use that one as many times as you want. And it shows that, and that money will go into the giveaway pot. So you increase your chances because more prizes get made as more people spend money. Helps the company helps me because they also increase then at a rate there. Um, like they have an 8% profit basically after all said and done hiring and all and things, even though the profit rate is high on fish. And uh, really that's not a ton to work with, but it's better than some industries. So out of that profit, then the 8%, they're actually giving back 4% of that 8%. Uh, to me, which I'm said, let's put it in a fund and let's give it away. So I get a fund also now, um, even despite that, for uh, they'll let me order at a discount. They're going to let me order like $200 credit and they match whatever I spend on their site. Every uh, three months, I'll be doing it, and I'll have a review of something they have on their site that I'm interested in, and then I'll be sharing that with you guys, and you'll also get a code to that. So that's all the discounty stuff, uh, but we also have really great news that um, – so you can use the 15% off code, I believe, once – and you can use the 10% off code on top of any product as many times as you'd like. Uh, and it just gives you more entries into that giveaway, into the giveaway. And then it counts the money you've spent towards more prizes. So like right now, I think we have uh, enough to be giving away four $30 gift certificates. So if people spend $300 total, we'll have another $30 gift certificate to give out a fifth one or whatever. Or we can make it cheaper if you guys want and give three people, um, you know, katapa wood or free fish or something. I don't know, whatever you want. Uh, but we'll figure that out soon. So let's, let's take a look at the questions. Uh, I just thought I'd show you this tank right now, too, because I've got uh, a really crazy amount of uh, pregnant female uh, red cherry shrimp in here. This is a mediocre cherry shrimp line that I'd had for a long time, the remnants of whatever survived that I scooped out of the tank upstairs before the cribs uh, ate everything. And the other cool thing that's going on that I'm trying to do you see this low-grade shrimp? If you look closer, they're actually starting to show clear spots in the Riley spots, or really shrimp spots. And so there's a few of them, and they have this gene, and so I'm going to separate them, not right now, but later, from these guys. And in, on my screen, these guys are blood red. 
that, that's another pregnant female, by the way. I have five that I have seen so far at the same time pregnant female shrimp in this tank at this moment. And then I have these gold rams. Well, I'm going to get onto getgills.com and I'm going to make uh I'm going to make available my guppies, some of them. Um maybe a they might have to wait till after winter till I ship them. But then these golden ram's horn snails with red flesh, I'm going to be selling those that I've been breeding. I've selectively bred those for quite some time. Um, some of them are really, really gold with a really red flesh, um, and others are opalescent with a more uh, pearl color. But this is like straight gold and red. Um, so I think those will be on getgills.com. And, uh, some of my plants definitely will be, um, definitely will have plants on there, which should be great. I've got a lot of plants that are working on growing now and, uh, just some, uh, funky stuff here, bulbs that are growing. I need to get, uh, some, this one's actually molding it looks like. So that's like a water mold growing on there. And I can either take that out and wash it off, or um, what I could also do is get a fish that will eat that, or snails that will eat that. So snails would be the perfect uh, solution to this if I wanted to put snails into this new breeding uh, pond, which basically only has three fish in it, as I said. Um, other than that, the other cool news that I've got going right now before I answer questions, I got two new five gallons. So I got rid of the cool low, low boy, uh, like, I guess, um, you'd, you'd probably describe it as a uh, Wabi Kuza setup uh, from um, Mr. Aqua, and uh, I think Do Aqua made one for a while. Do Aqua. Do Aqua! And, um, yeah. So that's going on, and the other thing that I was going to tell you guys is that I want to start breeding my Aru-2s, getting them to breed more, getting some of these rare Danios to breed more, and then the Somfongzi Rasboras upstairs, the beautiful little golden shimmery ones, and CPDs and stuff like that. I want to have a total black water breeding chamber in these fives. So that will let, allow me to use less of the uh, resources to create the actual plant. Or uh, the <laughs> baby. Sorry, I started staring at the, the plant over here. Uh, and my mind went wandering. Also, I need to get the last of the sword tails out of here. They're just getting too aggressive and too big um, for this tank that's a crowded tank, and I am trying to keep more calm fish in here, and these Danios are kind of the most aggressive, and I'd like to keep it that way. Um, so yeah, but with all the, and you can see the shrimp in here, these are from Lucas Brett's LRBAquatics.com. I believe that he actually may have gotten those. You'll have to find out from him. But these are the gold line, gold shrimp, yellow shrimp, with the gold line on their back. And there's a dozen in this tank. Oh, here's another one. Uh, and they are the most yellow shrimp I've ever come across, ever. Just, they're beautiful. That That's the least yellow I see them. Like that tail, usually it's yellow all the way throughout, like boldly, boldly yellow. And so I'm trying to get them to breed. We have a couple pregnant ones in here, which is great news. And uh, I'm going to probably be selling those as well as the plants as I trim them in here. So the Limnophilia aromatica, hip hippodroides, and some of the boosts that's when I split it. We've got boosts all over. We've got Limnophilia aromatica, normal, mini, and then... Um, you know, all sorts of stuff in here that should be on the site eventually. And I'll be shipping plants uh, sooner than later. Uh, 
it always helps with the bills and ultimately I'd really like to get a better camera for this channel so I can also kind of like get stuff off the phone and edit it even though this phone has a tremendously powerful camera and even editing tools um, it's not it's just it takes forever to get anything off of it so that drives me nuts so there are the yellow honey grammys sunset grammys whatever you want to call them they're doing well and then uh, i'm soaking some filters in this tank which i feel is a very healthy bacteria ecosystem and so once these soak up i will then transfer them into here so let me get to the questions I have been neglecting, and I will flip it around so you guys can see me, so I can interact with you, and you can see the starlight in my eyes. Alright, sorry guys if I neglected the, the questions. So, I'm scrolling back up to... You're on the ball tonight, Bob. Alright, I saw that. So, do do do. Those male endlers are nice. Thank you. Yeah, I've been working on them. Working, working on them. And I'm ruthless, like... You know how quickly guppies reproduce, and I've got, like, 50 females in that one tank. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of babies. Thousands of babies are coming out of those tanks uh, every couple months. Like, probably about 500 a month. And I don't sell them to anybody. Uh, I give them away uh, as guppies to friends and things. Oh. And then I will sell the ones that are better quality to stores. But the low, the ones below grade, I don't want anybody even messing with the genetics. So it's kind of a proprietary thing, I guess. But um, yeah, they go to a friend with a huge pond. So uh, fancy tail aquatics. Uh, hello, where did I miss a question? Have you ever bred white cloud minnows? Yeah, I totally have. <clears throat> I bred some outside this year. Ah, ah. Do you guys see that crazy weird reflection going on? Um, nothing treats. Oh wait, uh, one fin clamping is thought most indicate the fish are going to get sick. A little salt, uh, and observe. Raise the temperature. I wouldn't increase... Uh, uh, okay, I guess I'm lost on the question part. Oh, Lu Lucas, uh, Harrison Lucas. Question, I've already used the Secret Shrimp 15 and on Aquatic Arts, and it only lets you use it once. Uh, you will be entered one entry into that giveaway, but if you use Secret Shrimp 10, you'll be entered another time. And... I think I might even do it, like, for this December to try it out. It's up to them if they'll be cool with it, but I'm sure they will. I kind of get, get to decide all this. Um, but that will be... I think I'm going to do... If you come and buy more stuff, that will be two tickets. I'm going to look at how much money is spent also. So if someone's buying, like, ten bucks worth of stuff, yeah, you'll get an entry. But um, if you spend a hundred bucks worth of stuff... I think I'm going to do like two or three entries for people dropping serious coin. Uh, so if you drop some serious coin and you use the code secret shrimp 10, just let me know what you dropped and maybe a screenshot of that through our Facebook group. And then I can enter more raffle tickets. Otherwise I'll only find out that you use the code. I only hear how many times it got used. I don't get to see like what it was used for on my end their end they get to see it but i'm running the rules of the contest uh for the most part um so yeah robin amanda yep thanks thanks bob's on the ball helcio what's up aquafuzz hello uh i'm glad you've made it to the stream also 30 of us watching only nine likes yeah what gives 33 people come on 33 uh, I've done an unboxing this week with three heat packs. Did find no heat. D did not uh, one with no heat. Did not make it. Seller is reshipping with a heat pack. Yeah. So, Bob, you're totally right. Um, there's been issues to this time of year. You just run into like, oh, the plane's de-icing or something weird, and it all the luggage gets taken off because they're gonna be canceled that flight and then oh no it's back on and like stuff gets like mixed up 
But in a fish, you can't wait two days for them to sort out the luggage. So it's just this time of year, uh, any weather thing makes a big difference. Also, people, if they're at work when something's coming, whatnot, um, you know, it can be rough. Alex, how many cherry shrimp is max in a 10-gallon? Um, how many can you breed? Because... Honestly, for me, I have over in the other, in this 10 gallon over here, I have, I mean, there's at least 120 shrimp in there between the Babalti uh, neon greens and the Blue Dreams, and probably another 50 to 100 little teeny baby shrimp, but then I bring them upstairs and split them amongst other tanks. But really, they, they can fit, a t you can fit a ton of shrimp in a tank. It's just you don't want it to collapse. Um, so if you have any big plants in there, just make sure they don't die in the ammonia spikes um, or that anything changes a ton. More often than not, people do the most harm by like, oh man, uh, there's so many shrimp, now I better start changing the water twice as much. Well... That could be true if you check your parameters and if there's any nit nitrates uh, of any significant amount, then yeah, start changing your water more. But if this, if everything looks pretty good, um, more often than not, people ruin things by just turning up the ammonia in the food they're feeding, and then they get planaria, and then they use medication on the planaria, and then they get snails when the planaria die and then they get you know just goes on and on so the the easiest way when you're having issues too is to just kind of back off a little bit and uh i don't know like just don't feed them as much and then uh wait a while shrimp will eat whatever's in their tank they'll eat biofilm they'll eat their own poo a couple times in a row before it's an issue which I mean it's kind of gross but it's pretty amazing as an adapt adaptation uh, so all right uh, the wife loves pseudomagills yeah so Jason who brought me these five gallon tanks uh, his wife Yulia um, she's into the plants and they're both into nano tanks and shrimp and and uh, all that good stuff that I like. And so I'm going to try to get some Aru2 eggs going for uh, for them and also for anybody else who wants to order some Aru2 eggs or Aru2s. They grow extremely slow. And, uh, yeah. Alex, will you ship guppies to San Francisco, California? Yeah, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the only thing is I'll probably ship them... Well, San Francisco's actually a quick hop, skip, and a jump, but I'll be shipping them two-day priority, um, or, like, whatever's quickest, uh, basically, uh, other than some ridiculous overnight crazy fee, uh, and during certain months or times, I might have to say, like, hey, man, I can't guarantee this if you want them, um, I can credit you towards the next order if something happens, but uh, the weather was bad, and I already warned you. But um, that being said, like, today, I would have been able to ship to San Francisco and give you a, a guarantee. Secret Shrimp 10 isn't working either. It's all, uh, all caps, and that's at uh, aquaticarts.com. Secret shrimp, all in caps, no spaces. Oops, I was fishing, just got on here. Did you do the ink drawing on the thumbnail? Yeah, totally. So, um, USPS isn't guaranteeing overnight at all right now. I shipped to Alabama from Tennessee and they couldn't. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Um, it's like 65 bucks even through like FedEx when they guarantee it. And then usually like they just say, oh, well, too bad it's dead. Um, like, can we offer you something? And then the claim takes forever. Uh, and it's just, eh. So, you know, that sucks. But 
the other thing, while you guys are chatting, this is, or while we are chatting, uh, we, meaning uh, Lucas Bretz and I, he's got new art that I did. He has it in his possession, and tell him he's a lazy bum for not making the shirts yet. No, I'm, just, I'm totally uh, kidding about that. Um, basically, uh, he has some new shirt artwork and stuff, but I am going to propose that maybe he and I both sell some shirts. Uh, maybe not just for my channel, uh, for instance. He's got, like, merchandise he's really trying to sell. And I don't really have merchandise that I'm trying to sell per se, but I would love to do, um, I would love to do some artwork and do like spring tees or something like that. So I'm going to be working on, now that I have my ability to draw back, yes, the dexterities come back and, um, oh, it feels, I was so terrified after the lightning that that wasn't going to happen. And it has, I, I feel better, um, I'm getting better every day, and let me turn this around, turn around, okay, so, down here, this is the Pseudomagill that was the thumbnail, I just did this the other night, I haven't erased anything, I sketched out real quick in mechanical pencil, uh, and this is, uh, like, there's like little sound waves here and there's a gear on the eye and some cogs and some diamond plating and then here there's some cogs and uh, also some pistons and then the sound, uh, what are they called, authorioscope? I can't remember, uh, oscilloscope, I think that's it. And then, you know, I'm doing also some Sumi ink just illustrations with my brush and pen of that kind of stuff but if you remember if you've watched the channel for a while I've been doing uh, kind of this um, style where I do the, the, the idea is I'm doing kind of a steampunk or biomechanical version of real fish and I think that I'm going to ask if Lucas wants to carry my line of shirts and maybe like Rob too, but we could do uh, various shirts uh, in this kind of black and white, white, easy, affordable, you know, maybe just like he gets a buck, I get a buck off of each shirt and then you guys pay 15 or whatever, you know, like I want to make it super cheap and affordable, but just like more aquatic hobby stuff out in the world that that's my goal so i'm going to talk to those two about it i need to talk to lucas about it um uh oops i was just i was fishing just got here do you draw the th yeah okay uh do, do, do sorry how are those panda loaches oh the panda loaches they're doing really well um i thought that i was missing a couple like i thought that that some were gone it because i thought that the two adults were all I had, but like literally overnight, all that happened was I saw them all at once and there were four adults. So they just like within the course of a couple days hit under a rock and their pattern has changed to adult pattern. <clears throat> so I don't know how that happens. I don't think they shed or anything, but uh, kind of interesting. Also, you can see this beautiful Mittang, uh, they're very subtly beautiful in person. You really got to see their beautiful purple and gold and bronze coloring with blue body stripes. But there's two of these uh, ladies that just have huge egg laden uh, bellies that are waiting for these smaller males over here to, uh, to do their deed. And so I'm hoping that maybe one of these tanks uh, they can try out too. Um, Will Stout, thank you. Oh, thanks. J Jason just super chats me, and we just went... To, the guy just bought me dinner, and, uh... And, uh... <laughs> now you're giving me a super chat. That's very sweet. Thank you very much. 
Um, I, I'm going to try to make an, an attempt. Uh, I still have a lot of money going to healthcare. And uh, my teeth are going to be needing, like, I got stuff fixed to a stable point, but I'm still miss missing, like, six teeth that I didn't have before the lightning strike. So I do need to start getting some work done there again, and so I'll have to kind of buckle down. And hopefully some of these, like, uh, shirts and designs and things like that will be able to supplement that because I'm still not working, like, a 9 to 5, still just having a tough time with my energy level, um, and today's been one of the best days in a long time, so that's really cool. Yeah, and there's kind of a steampunk fish thing going there, um, but I don't want it to just be steampunk, because I know not everybody digs that, but I do think it'd be fun to do a series of, like, 20 fish in steampunk, and then do them 20 realistic kind of sumi ink illustrations. Um, they're not breeding yet, though, those panda loaches. Uh, the two that just became adults, I would assume in the next three months or so can probably start, I can start trying to get them to, to breed. Um, I told him last night for the next shirt and he was wearing the mad scientist. He said he would get on it. Oh yeah, Bob. Yeah. about the next shirt. Uh, Let's see. Do, 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 do. Secret Shrimp 10 is not working? Huh. That is very odd. Have you already used another uh, code? Like, are you stacking codes or something, uh, Harrison Lucas? Because Secret Shrimp 10 should work. There's no spaces or, like, you didn't hit space bar at the very beginning or at the end, and it's that's the issue. Uh... Because if it is an issue, I will definitely be uh, bugging them on their day off. I have their 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 number or their Facebook account, uh, and I'll message him. But it should work. Um, I mean, you could try the 15 one again, but try that. Uh, the 10 should work. I don't know what's going on. I know two other people that have used it. Um, but you can't, like, stack a bunch of codes. Aqua Fuzzy, do you think Honey Garami would make a good centerpiece fish for blood fins? I like blood fins, and I don't want them to... Yeah, I, I think that would be okay. Uh, Honey Garamis, I think they're great fish. The ones I have are very peaceful. They do not bug anybody in the tank. They don't even bug each other. Like, they're not even doing that. The blue powder garami is pretty peaceful if you just have uh, females or just males, like one or the other. But if you have a, a group uh, of both genders, they do get really touchy. Um, but I think uh, aqua fuzzy, I think that um, the blood fin tetras are great. I think you could uh, easily put some honey garamis in. Uh, it does help to have more than just a honey, one honey garami in my tank. I think right now I have three females and two males. They don't get very big. If you have a huge open space tank, they'll get about the size of this blue garami at the biggest. But this one here is a full-grown male, and the males have a lot better color. So even just having two males to kind of dig it out and having enough hiding spots, that's going to be the key. But they would never bother with uh, a group of fish that are already in a school or a shoal. They just don't have that disposition um, from what I've ever seen. They are just a beautiful, bright yellow fish. They are like the tang equivalent. If you know what the uh, yellow tang looks like in the salt water, they're a perfect replacement for that. See, there's the female chasing after them. Females are even a little smaller. And I'm talking, like, they're pretty skinny, too. They don't require a ton of food. Um, but the other thing to remember, see, that's about as much action as I get out of them, is, like, the male probably got a little aggressive, and the female uh, is hiding. But see, she's scared of Daniels. Like, she, she's going to go hide up in the... In the palm fronds and now she's eating uh eating algae thanks um but the danios 
even though there's three species of Dan, four species of Danios all in here, they all kind of just cruise back and forth together like a like a motorcycle gang. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so transfixed by these fish that uh, my wife just calls little silver fish. But you know, it's just little things like when if I had a good quality camera taking the picture, uh, you'd see like that the their tail has like these orange or purple depending on the ones uh, highlights on the edges and it also just has just really subtle beauty um, in the patterns and bronze spots up and down their spines and just knowing that they're facing a hard time in the wild um, helping them out feels good um, but yeah see this this female is like she needs to get rid of those eggs or she'll actually start having health problems. So this male here needs to get with the program. You can see his whiskers. Those haven't showed up online in a while. So um, so thank you for those super chats, you guys. You rock. Bob, you are... All right, Bob. The log cabin's coming on Monday. Uh, you need that log cabin that bad? Then yes. Uh, <laughs> it's sitting right over right over here somewhere uh somewhere over on the bed uh but yeah so see there's the honey garamis being as vicious as they get here's the male chasing another male and this is the alpha male here and you can see he's puffed up right now and when they puff up they're actually really pretty um i wish it showed how yellow they were um but as you guys probably know live streaming does not show color nearly as well. You guys can kind of get the picture maybe here that that is a bright canary yellow uh, in that fish. That is a really bright fish. So, uh, no spaces, all caps, only the one code. I'll post a screen cap on Facebook. I've used it in the past. I've also used the 15 one also. Oh, weird. So... You've used the 10, well, maybe there's something up with, because you've used the 10 and the 15, maybe it, they need to fix something. Maybe not everyone has done, no, maybe someone hasn't done that yet, and they thought it was set up that way. So we'll we'll try to get that fixed out, um, Harrison, uh, and I will uh, definitely contact them and uh, break their legs. No, just kidding. Uh over here, let's see what's going down in Pleco Town. So these guys are getting bigger. Uh, these are the green dragon, the long fin green dragons. They're getting like pretty good size in the, you know, here's my finger. Um, and there's also red, uh, super reds in here, which is good. So this tank is just so full of fish. Uh, but everybody's getting along well. Um, and you can see here one of the surviving green dragon babies with that cream tail that's kind of a signature of my litters. Uh, they're Greg Sage litters originally, or I don't know what you want to call them. Litters, I suppose? Sure. Um, the other thing is the, I just noticed this, the, uh, filter is not working i must have bumped it earlier and that needs to be on but we also have new baby fry so some of these fry are clearly guppy but some of them are little teeny tin winnie danios and i'm really excited so they actually reproduced and didn't get eaten in the first month so that's how thick the vegetation is in this tank um downstairs and back here they never think I can see them but uh, you can see that here is a tiger teddy and uh, there was a stir by Corridora back here eating and over here these are lemon tetras and that was the blue garami and there's the shrimp Mrs. Pregnant Shrimp alright let's see here let me stop zooming in what should i do when my water parameters from the city tap let me flip this around 
Okay. Sorry, guys. I got all these things on here, and then... Oh, I need to do this before I forget. I said I was going to do it. Ow. Um, what did I break? Um, but I need to get this pump primed. Uh, let's see here. Get this light down. Well, I'll turn it around so you guys can see what I'm doing and not just stare at my chin and get seasick. Uh, this, uh, this filter, oh man, it's been dry for a while. It's been dry for like over an hour. Not good. Not good for the beneficial bacteria that is. Uh, I also got to make sure when I do this that I don't have uh, babies in it. So. Let's see. Do I have any babies in that scoop? Nope. But this pump is so big, it's such an oversized filter here that it takes a lot of priming. But this tank, like I said, has a ton of filtration. It's like dueling banjos of filtration. Uh, let's see. We're almost full. I can hear the tank huffing and puffing. Doot, doot, doot. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the delay on this one. Why is this not filling? Is it leaking? Oh, it is leaking. Where is it leaking from? Sorry, guys. This is one of those, like, seriously not good moments. Okay. Now it won't leak. The suction had actually f sucked back the water in from outside of the tank. Oh no, I just poured in these. I'm being a neglectful host. Sorry, I just need the water. I need the water running or all my good bacteria dies that I've cultivated so carefully. Okay. Now, click that back in, and now we should get some, some action in a moment here. All right. All right, I'm, I'll f f fiddle with that later. Sorry. Uh, I saw your guppy puppies. Your channel is growing so fast because of your awesome content. Dang. Oh, yeah, guppy puppies. Yeah, totally. 200 subs. Congrats. Check out Gu guppy puppies channel, guys. Um, penalty to live game, yeah. Um, did I find out what killed the other plecos? Yes, it was a form of Vibrio, which is a shellfish-borne disease that causes problems in humans as well. And there are 8,000? I want to say 1,000, but that may be wrong. It might be 100. But there's a lot, let's just say a lot, of different uh, forms of that, that bacteria... And it's no bueno, and apparently it in in uh, armored catfish and so forth that that have that it starts where you can't see it underneath their um, their armor, and same with some quarries. But for some reason, it didn't affect my quarries so quickly, um, and it starts. 
in their stomach just like it would with us from food poisoning it can come in on shellfish or you know like shrimp and stuff too but it's more than likely from a snail and it uh then becomes to them in certain species of animals and things it actually becomes a flesh eating bacteria which is not good um but yeah it's just super not fun bad times for everyone um the other thing uh, about that, though, is that I, I got gram-negative medication, which does treat it. I saved one critter from that uh, enclave of, of the tanks that had, you know, the two tanks that had the real issues with it. And the tanks now... I have a brand new tank up there. I got it for 20 bucks at Petco. I told them there was a sale online for 20 bucks, which there was, and they matched it for 20 bucks but without tax, which was really cool. So I got it for $20 flat locally. Um, it was just a young girl working who was like, I hate my job, I could tell. And uh, she gave it to me for a really good price. And so I got a new one instead of cleaning the old one. The old one has been bleached now. And uh, it's really, really sad. And I wasn't sure if I was going to tell you guys. But I did make a vow of transparency. I filmed it. I'm not going to share filming it, the filming. But those red uh, guppies that I had. The red snake skins that were from... Dean Tweedle, uh, that is on, uh, if you've seen Aquarium Co-ops, like, uh, Master Breeder, uh, Master Fish Breeder, Angel Fish and Blue Rams and stuff like that, that's Dean, he's in our, he's in our fish club, I got the, I got the fish from him, they grew really great there were about 40 of them in there mostly fry or your juvenile fish and there was also two corridoras and four plecos now what happened they all started uh the plecos died the corridoras died they all had been eaten from the inside out their guts were missing one of them had its face eaten off and this is in the period of 12 to 24 hours i'd never seen anything like it took it to a friend who has access to UW uh medical center uh and research labs and stuff and yeah sure enough they cultured it it came back um and it's scary because it can definitely make humans sick. And if I had a break in my skin, it could make me sick, which is bad. Uh, but basically, there there's no going back. Once it's been in a filter or something, you can't risk it. You can't run that filter again. So even the sponge filters and all the medium and substrate, I had to bleach it. And the fish... I thought the guppies were going to escape it. I thought they were going to be okay. Um, I really did, and I really hoped that they would. And so they didn't make it. Um, I came in two days later uh, after the first signs in the guppies. So there was a week that was okay after the, after the uh, plecos died. But... After that, they were, they had like fins with holes in them, like a fin rot case that was really bad. It looked like they'd all chewed each other up. And this was literally, I went to bed one night, the next morning I come in and that's the sight is that like they look fine. So this is a scary, scary, scary bacteria. So I threw all the nets, everything that I'd used in there, and uh, I went and uh, and I noticed there were seven, five, five to seven dead adult healthy guppies in there, 
And these are the guppies that were selling for $30 a pair at Aquarium Co-op in their store. And I have 40 some of them in there at the time. And, uh, I did some thinking, some chatting, and I got the bleach, and I poured about four or five cups of bleach straight into the tank. Um... I thought that that was bad. I couldn't think of a real easy way to kill 40 teeny guppies. Um, but I did, you know, I did research. I understand chemistry uh, somewhat and biology quite a bit. And uh, basically it scars their uh, breathing. They asphyxiate and they were all dead with in two and a half minutes so even though it was really just heart-wrenching because there were shrimp in there too to watch all of them try to go to the surface and get air they were literally like swimming around with their entrails hanging out and their and blood in the tank which i've never seen in a fish tank other than like when an oscar chomps on something um and it's been a little while but um yeah, that was really hard. So, new tank, new tank set up. Uh, brand new tank. Took the light from upstairs, so I've got that down here. Um, I have now learned, in case anybody needs to know, uh, it's barbaric. I, I know. Uh, I, yes, I feel like a monster. Please don't make me feel worse um but there you can kill uh you can kill your entire fish tank in a matter of seconds and that yeah that works so i don't know what to say i, I don't know i don't have anything else to say about that uh, I thought about clove oil or maybe turning up the CO2. Man, there is a yellow shrimp in this, stuck in this. Uh, can you guys see this? Oh, sorry. Can you guys see this? There's a yellow shrimp stuck in the filter here. Uh, and even when I lift him out of the, the water, and then when I put it back in the water... He's right back in the filter, just chilling. Come on. Come on, brah. Come out, yellow shrimp. Um, all right. Jay Blair, there's Jason. It sucks so hard, but letting them die from that bacterial infection would have been, yeah, would have been worse. I think it was a lot more humane. It just felt really bad and just like, you know, you try so hard to keep your fish alive and then to kill them is just, ugh. I mean, it's not like a cat or a dog at least, but it's just a bummer. It's a real bummer, man. Um, so... I'm taking this into the other room to see if I can get the shrimp out of the tube. Shrimp tube. You're the only friend I have, shrimp tube. Uh, Neo Caradina shrimp are uh, true warriors. And I, I don't know if, is it in here? Is it in here? I don't see it. Do you guys know? So, I have a feeling it's in here. And I see it right there. So, we're going to go back in here and we're going to get the shrimp out of the tube that is being a butt. 
Ta-da! Oh, it was a pregnant one. Yay! Well, my good deed is done for the day. Um, let's see, is this going to make the filter work, though? Probably not. I don't know what the filter's problem is. Uh, I also went through this weekend and actually took all of the filters apart, which was not the most fun thing I've ever done. Uh, and uh, took them all apart and made sure they were all in working order, which was good. So, there's that. Um, last thing I was going to say, uh, oh, I will be doing an episode again soon on this disgustingness that is also great. So, this is a bunch of mold and a bunch of white worms. So, it smells like throw up, but... There are white worms for days. And it smells like mold and throw up and poop. But I'm going to show you a video on how you, too, can have a moldy throw up smelling bucket of highly, highly uh, healthy worms for your fish. Because they freaking love them. Um, but yes. All right, guys. Well... I am plum tuckered out. I have had a long day, a great day, uh, and I got to get going. I might be back tomorrow. My wife, um, yes, you have to, you're, Will, you're totally right. Uh, it is an Aquion filter, and the impeller is screwed up. It uh, filters a lot of water in there, and it's all encased. I take these things apart, but you need pliers to pull the cage off the impeller. But then the magnetic impeller, like the way they design it, it gets covered in, in crud and then the crud gets stuck and then all of a sudden it's too much force and the engine heats up and the thing feels hot. So what I'll have to do is get in there and maybe get um, pressure, uh, some sort of pressure like a, a can of dust off or something and, uh, and just deal with it that way. Uh, as well as just smacking it and seeing what happens. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you to the super chatters. You guys rock. You guys are still my uh, my go-to super chatters are always the one there. Uh, special shout out to um, uh, special shout out to uh, Aquaballs who was in early. Uh, to all of the new folks who came in tonight, thank you. It's good to see you. JH, if you're still around, have a good night. Betsy, good night. Get some rest. I hope you're feeling okay. Uh, Bob, super thank you to Bob. Check out Bob's channel. Um, definitely check that out, you guys. Uh, Bob Kaler. Uh, and then, um, who else? Oh, and then uh, Jason. Jason J. Blair, thank you very much. Uh, and thanks for the... Uh, tanks brought by today and for dinner. Um, any Jagator's situation. Did I answer this one? Uh, what is his situation? Sorry, guys. I might have missed a question. Aquafuzzy, thank you very much also for the um, super chat. That was really nice. Um, I don't know Jagator... I don't have a question on here for some reason. If you're still on here, ask the question again right now, and I will try to answer it for you. Um, I It's not in my stream for some reason. I'm also missing a couple other things that I know were said, so I don't know what's going on. It also says that there's only three people in the chat room, yet I see more chat active than that, so something funky's going on. Fish clamping. Right. Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. I on that one. I would do some water changes. Maybe hit it with um, 
a, a antibacterial and um, something like that. Uh, a salt bath would help, but um, it's probably electrolytes. And if it's none of those things, he may have an electrolyte imbalance if it's not being fixed by that. And uh, more potassium in the water and more calcium for the potassium ion channel connections, just like in humans, that could be helpful. Um, maybe get some like shrimp food, try getting some shrimp food uh, and feeding that to the fish. I, I'm not sure. Without more detail that I must have missed or something, um, that's tricky. Especially if the parameters are okay. You've done uh, antibiotics, you've done the bath, you've done antifungal or just a general cure, something like that. Then that's a tricky one. Um, I, I'm not sure what's going on other than stress, too. So, um, all right, you guys, you have a great night and I need to do water changes and I need to smack the side of my uh, aquarium filter over there so pH came down but it's 6.8 huh maybe ask the question in the if I don't know if he's still here but ask the question in the Facebook group with the detail again that's odd um Maybe switch tanks. Sometimes when in doubt, when a, t when a fish isn't doing well, I'll just put it in another tank as long as it doesn't look like it's a, um, uh, a problem that will spread like a contagious thing. So, all right, you guys. Have a wonderful night. I hope that you guys can save some money and stuff if you go shopping online for anything at any of those sites. And uh, I really appreciate everybody here and uh thanks for coming out for the stream this was just kind of an impromptu hey guys wanted to uh reach out thank you for watching the amount of time watched on the channel has been going up uh recently this week quite a bit don't know what happened but uh thanks uh google youtube gods for uh for increasing my seo and uh if you haven't yet subscribe if you like this if you don't Get out! Just kidding. Um, and uh, tomorrow I may be back with the live stream. I may just have a video. I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing uh, with the between the two of those things because I have a couple video ideas and some videos that are shot that I could put out. Uh, but I also have um, my wife gone, so I could do a live stream on a topic. Especially if I can get my friend Ben, if I can get my friend Ben over here, get him to take his shirt off again, no, I'm just um, then that might happen. Or there is another special guest, possibly. I'm also going to be going to Steve's house from Aquarium Zen, and I will be helping film and watch him and just play around and have fun. While he's doing a pretty much uh, Boos predominant tank. So Boos of Philandra, uh predominant tank, which should be really cool to see. He runs a uh, fish store, obviously, and just d did a bunch of stuff for Amazon. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Ben's one of my best buddies, so we do play well off each other, totally. And he has one of my old fish tanks. And so uh, he actually just set it up. And if his first fish tank, like, that's his. And so he might come over and just do kind of a general, like, questions about how to take care of his fish tank thing. And we can joke about stuff and talk about other stuff while we're doing that. All right, guys. I am tuckered out. I will talk to you all later. Have a good night. Um, a lot of times if people ask questions and go back and look at some of my old videos. Some of the ones that sneak by that have like a hundred views are some of the videos I put the most time into. So it's uh, it's always a crapshoot which ones take off and which ones don't. But uh, usually doesn't have anything to do with the amount of time and energy put in them. So... <laughs>
yeah. I hear you, Betsy. I'm I'm right there with you. I thought I'd uh, power through the the uh, live stream more uh, energetic than I have, but I think I'm I think it's time. We made it an hour and twenty minutes. That's pretty good. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the super chats as always. And uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of your critters. It'll all take care of you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.